What's up my YouTubers? Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, we go come back. If not, welcome to the experience. Today, stainless steel coffee mugs. I think every household in North America has one of these. But they're anything from stainless. These are usually used for tea or coffee, but most of them over time end up getting stained like this. This one definitely can use some help. It's gotten stained from the use of strong tea and or coffee. Mostly for after a while, consider throwing these out. This lid has seen better days. It's also stained and there is grime building up underneath the slider and the seal. Today, my challenge is to restore this to some sense of what it used to look like when it was first purchased. To do this, I'm not going to get into anything that's too complicated. To do this, I'm going to use this no-name all-purpose cleaner. This is the least expensive cleaner on the shelf, but it does do the trick. And with that, let's go! Next, I'll need to pop the slider of the lid out of place with a blunt object. That will make it easier to clean where the gram is built up. Next, I'll need to remove the seal from the cover. Start by spraying the cleaner on various parts of the lid where there is going and stain. Eventually, spray enough of the cleaner inside the cup against all the areas that are covered with stain. For completeness, just swish it around. This will have to sit for another 10 minutes before I can start the actual cleaning process. Liberally add more spray to the other parts that need cleaning. I'll need to let this sit for a minimum of 10 minutes. 10 minutes later. Now that the time has elapsed, I'm going to start scrubbing this split all over. I'm going to use this old toothbrush to get into those tight spaces. At this point, I'm only using the cleaner that I sprayed earlier. As I'm cleaning the slider, I'm noticing that there's still stains underneath the rubber part on the slider. I'm going to use a sharp knife to see if I can actually pluck it out. And voila, it came out easier than I thought. And now I can really get into those grooves. It's a lot easier to clean the rubber part of the slider once it's removed.
all the brown that's on the toothbrush is actually the tea stain being removed. I'll add some more cleaner to the cup and sit it aside for a while longer. Wow, what a dramatic improvement to the slider. I'm on the final cleaning for the lid. I think I'm on the home stretch. To do the bottom and the sides, I'm going to need a heavier brush. You can really see the progress of the tea stains being removed from the sides and the bottom also. This is actually the first time I'm using dishwashing soap on this project, as I'm down to the final cleaning steps. It's a good idea to clean everything over again with the dishwashing soap. Make sure you find all the small parts and clean them as well. Wow, you can really see the difference between what we started off with and what we've got now. Don't forget to continue to rinse all parts until they get to the home stretch. Wow, this is really amazing. It looks brand new.
I just need to reinsert the rubber back into the slider. After a few more rinses, I'm going to pop the slider back into the lid. And then finally reinstall the rubber seal around the lid. We're almost there. I just want to do a final scrub of everything with the liquid dishwashing soap. This whole process from start to finish should take you 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the buildup of the stain on your mug. Wow, getting this mug so clean reminded me of the days when I was a professional dishwasher. And those were some fun days. I must admit, this looked pretty darn spectacular compared to what it used to look like at the start of this video. And there you have it folks, challenge met today. So if you have the same problem with your stainless steel coffee cup or mug, give this a try. Drop me a line and let me know if this works for you too. And this is an easy, quick, an inexpensive way to return your favorite coffee cup or mug to its original glory. If I can do it, you can do it too. And with that, I'll see you on our next project. If you thought this video was interesting or helpful, help me grow my channel. Give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit notification, leave me a comment, and I'll see you on our next project.